Got it. Okay. What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. We're out here this morning with Christian Man. You guys got to check him out. We'll put him in the description. Devin's behind the camera. We're all three kayak fishing this morning at a uh, kind of semi-small local pond that Christian actually just caught his PB out of this morning. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> Stoked. Dude, six and a half pounds on the Whopper Plopper. So here's the game plan. Well, here was the game plan. It's 8.15 in the morning. I was supposed to get here with him at like 6.30, and we were gonna just crush it all day, fish some top water, have some fun. Needless to say, we lost the keys to the kayaks on the trailer, because we lock them up. And so, now we're here an hour and a half late. It's been a morning. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now we're here, we're happy, we're celebrating, and we gotta catch some big fish. Let's get in the water, you guys. This hoodie is a little warm. Do I have everything I need? I think so. There we go. Dang. Froggy. Just had one chase up the swim bait. A lot of fry right below me. Drop shot first cast. <laughs> I've been going back between the swim bait and the buzz bait, but uh, the drop shot's what hit, of course. Go from a six and a half out here with Christian to a quarter pounder with Weston. Wouldn't have it any other way. All right, this bank line, windblown bank, still a little in the shade, reeds on this side, no one's really fishing it. This has got to produce right here. Throw the swim bait for a minute. <laughs> Here is watermelon red flake six inch. That sounds kind of good. <laughs> we got two packs. I might throw some of them. All right, guys, we're trying to get this bite dialed in now that uh, the top water has faded. Christian literally caught like five good fish earlier, a four pounder, a couple other decent ones, and that six and a half. But uh, now they have tapered off. I threw around the swim jig, the citizen for a minute. I've got the drop shot on. I also threw that buzz bait in the areas that were still shaded. And now Devin is tying on a crank. We're thinking lunker log, but then Christian's throwing one now. So we're just mixing things up. I, I, I got a chatter bait ready as well as another uh, square bill just so that I can get depth. And so uh, real quick with the square bill diving down to like four, six feet. So we'll catch up with you here in a second. See who gets the first bite. Right now we got a drop shot going, lunker log and a crank bait and sexy shad. So yeah. Woo! Good one. This is a good fish. It's big. I was letting it sit there. It's big. I thought it was This is a big fish. Christian's got a good one on the lunker log. Okay, Texas rigs. You think that thing's four pounds? Definitely. <laughs> on the lunker log right after I talk about... All right, y'all. Check it out, man. We've been out here for a second. Haven't got too many hits except for that one on the drag and drop. And then... Ooh. Oh my god. Check that baby out. Fat. Ooh. We're gonna get her on the scale. That was a Texas rigged lunker log. Baby bass color. Ooh, he's biting me. Look at that football. Look how fat she is. Like spawned out, but now she's feeding again. She's kind of got like a skinny, a skinny fat thing going. Yeah. <laughs> Four. 485. Dang. Ooh. Almost five pounds. <laughs> Texas rig lunker log. I'm not even gonna lie. I was just letting it sit there and I thought I was snagged. And then I was fighting with the grass, supposedly the grass, for a while. And then I lifted up and all of a sudden she jumped and I was like, oh no. One more look. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she's ready to go. Off she swims, man. Let's get some more. Lunker log is getting tied on. Better believe that. Would you looky there? My first fish in my kayak. I was on a weightless lunker log. 
I think it's the watermelon red flake. We've been out here for a hot minute trying to get this done and I just cast over in that pocket. Christian's been pulling out monsters all morning. All right, let's turn this little guy into something a lot bigger, shall we? Concert going on. <laughs> that was cool. Bye, bud. Oh, they're good luck. <laughs> the geese are good luck. Oh, bad luck. Just kidding. All right, they seem to be post-spawn here going after bluegill. The bluegill are up shallow. The bass are feeding on them, and I'm just now deciding to make this switch. I don't know why, but I'm going to creep this slow along this grass, and I got a good feeling. Got him. Oh, frog. First cast. I saw him come up and try it, that was funny. All right guys, Christian split. We weren't really getting many bites and uh, it is now like 10.30 in the morning. So we're gonna go get a couple errands ran. Maybe fish some more a little bit later. Whoa! All I did was go and get some Chick-fil-A. Devin ran some errands, man. I'm out here now meeting with Torrance for the second half of the day. And it is so windy. And it's like a couple hours later. Oh, maybe it's more than a couple hours later. It's 1.22 now. So we literally ran home. This is nuts, man. I gotta grab a few rigs out of here. We're gonna hit this spot. I think it's gonna be good. It looks so frogalicious. Midday is probably not the right time to hit it. Last time we got him on the swim jig. We're gonna see what works, man. There's also a deeper area off a dock. Let's get to the GoPros. Okay, froggy, froggy baby, come on, come on, yeah baby, frog, yo, first frog fish of the year, in minutes, damn, oh my gosh, first one on the Guggen Squad frog, man, that's what I'm talking about, oh shit, all right that was fast look when i saw that blow up i was just hoping i got that hook set because i am known to miss a frog fish or two let me get a couple pictures real quick little instagram bangers and then we're gonna get some more hey hey have you talked to it though no <laughs> i guess he got like a warning ticket from a oh golf. yeah i did and that that's the place i've been wanting to take you where one second i'm releasing a fish Look at that, so sick. And I'm also on the phone with Devin. <laughs> oh, just had another blow up, missed it uh, in the opening. Dude, this looks like, I, I bet you'll hit the frog all day here. All day. Wait, you have a blow up? No, on the frog? I got one, I got one. If, if you got another one, go ahead, it don't matter. Yeah, it's in the car, it's on the way. All right, yeah, use that. Oh, look, 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 it's waking over. Holy, it, it felt that big splash and came over. That was crazy, dude. That was a big wake. It stopped like right here. Did you see that? Do I have a frog? I got a frog! It's a frog! <laughs> a frog on a frog! It's my first time! <laughs> there you go, kid. I was like, he landed right there! Oh, I got him! <laughs> well, alright. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh my god, dude. If I get the right cast in the grass with this thing... I might be interested in trying this little spot around the corner. At least, like, check it out, you know? Gave up on the dock. Yeah! Well, I done gave up on the dock and Torrance got himself a little pre-storm honey. Yeah. On the chatter batter. Pretty fat for a youngster, too. Right. What are you throwing? Dang. I've been throwing a weightless for a minute. Haven't been getting hit. I'm throwing the Senko for a minute, getting no love. And he pulls it right out of the thick stuff. Dang! <laughs> what is a guy to do? Where's my kayak? <laughs> All right, man, the bite seems to have died down, but the wind is still here. 
Torrance and I are gonna hit a spot right down the road, just give it a quick little glance over, and then I'm probably gonna head back to the house. So uh, let's go take a look at this last little spot before we head home, you guys. We just pulled up. I'm gonna trade the swim jig for the spinnerbait. Pretty windy. The cloud cover gets heavy every few minutes when the sun goes behind these clouds here. I think a little extra flash might help. There's grass. I think this is the gunky bad grass too, about five feet out from the bank, so you can't really cast parallel like I would like to, but I found this little drain right behind me that I'm gonna utilize to uh, step out on. See if it won't help a little bit. Just like six of them. Like 30, the biggest, biggest carp I've ever seen. They probably, look, look, come here, come here, come here. Dude, that's not the biggest one. That's ridiculous, dude. The other one? Oh my God. The other one was huge. Get the bread, get the bread. Oh my God, we could catch those, dude. We need to put that on the hook. I'm, I've got a drop shot. Dang, dude, there's like no good way to do this. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, shit. Honestly, I don't see him anymore. I think we missed our opportunity. Well, the carp mission was a failure. They took off. Spinner bait for a few minutes, then we got split. What? <laughs> Torrance literally just pulled one out of here. <laughs> Sanko? <laughs> oh my gosh. Giants only. A little different from our last outing. <laughs> Ooh, I just got hit. I think the grass is pretty tall here too. I keep getting caught in it. Got him. I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> Raid screaming. I do have something. All right, well, a couple dinks out of here, man. Beggars can't be choosers. First spinnerbait fish y'all seen me catch in a while. Let me see if we can go two for two. I was moving a little faster, keeping it closer to the surface. That flash really brings them up though. I'm like, I think I got something. <laughs> I was wondering if it was decent and it was just swimming towards me. I didn't know. No, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't know. All right, thank you. Getting the resident boot today, y'all. That's a little different. No security. But I think he wants to keep those big bass all to himself. Well, I guess that takes care of it for today, y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all over at the truck here in just a second. Got sidetracked there. That resident was actually very angry and like kind of came over yelling at Torrance as soon as I started kind of walking away from the pond. And so I wanted to just go film in case like something really crazy happened. He seemed like he was pretty PO'd. Anyways, everything ended up being okay. There was no signs there. He was just talking about how the HOA, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. There was no houses along the area we had uh, parked along the road and went up to fish that spot at. So anyways, needless to say, it's just another spot we tried. Got the boot, but I also don't want y'all to think I was just gonna throw a drop shot in after those carp, because that's like what I had said as I was running to the truck to get the drop shot. What I was actually doing is I was just gonna cut off my tag end with the weight and just use that little wacky rig hook and try and get some of those little, I don't know what they were, but in the water, stuff that was falling from the trees is what those carp were coming up to the surface and munching on. And so I tried to grab some of those and put it on the hook and it didn't really work out, so we just, Scrap that whole idea. Anyways, guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. One a day uploads, man. We're gonna keep this going for as long as we can. I hope you enjoyed that Rod and Real Arsenal video. If not, go give it a view, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. <gasps>